Hello everyone. Are you a non-resident Indian who wants to stay connected with your country of origin? Do you visit your near and dear ones often and want some financial security for them? Do you want to invest wisely in India but are not aware of the procedures? The world has become a global village and as an NRI, you can now enjoy the best of both worlds. If you are a non-resident Indian that is an NRI and wonder whether you can invest in Indian mutual funds then the simple answer to that question is yes you can there is always some confusion regarding NRI investments in India here we are going to explain how you and other NRIs can easily invest in India you can invest in India provided you comply with the rules and regulations set by RBI that is the Reserve Bank of India and SEBI that is the Securities and Exchange Board of India which is the financial markets regulator in India following are the processes and regulations required you are sure to find this useful on your investment journey step number 1 prerequisite of having an NRO or NRE account in accordance with the rules of FEMA that is the Foreign Exchange Management Act The Reserve Bank of India has issued guidelines that NRIs cannot hold a regular savings account in India. Instead of this, they have to compulsorily hold either an NRO that is a non-resident ordinary account and or an NRE that is non-resident external account. All NRI investments can only be routed through one of these accounts. An NRO account is generally used to keep and utilize funds within India. Remittance of funds to the resident country of the NRI is not permitted with ease through this type of account. This is called as a non-repatriable account. On the other hand, an NRE account allows hassle-free remittance of funds to the original country of residence of the NRI. This is called as a repatriable account. Depending on whether you ultimately transfer the redeemed or matured fund amount back to the foreign country or keep it in India, you need to choose the appropriate account also note that the income tax levied on the income in these accounts is different this is a very critical step and has to be planned in advance as per your requirements step number 2 kyc or ckyc and supporting documents kyc that is know your customer is a standard process in india to verify the identity of an investor based on personal documents like passport visa pan proof of residence etc this process is mandatory for all investors be it resident indians or non resident indians this process generally takes a maximum of 1 week to be completed post submission of the correct documents please note that whenever you deal with any finance oriented company in india this process has to be repeated this is where ckyc that is central kyc comes in Central KYC or CKYC allows you to provide the necessary documents only once. Once you have registered and submitted your documents, then you will receive a 14-digit KYC identification number, also known as KIN. This number can be used by the investor across the financial sector to complete the KYC formalities anywhere in India. Since as an NRI investor, you will transact between two different countries some additional regulations set by fema and pmla which is the prevention of money laundering act will have to be adhered to as well hereafter you are eligible to invest in mutual funds in india step number 3 rules and regulations for specific countries rules and regulations may differ for specific countries for instance There are some restrictions imposed on NRIs residing in USA and Canada if they want to invest in mutual funds. They are not allowed to invest in debt funds. NRIs residing in these two countries should seek professional advice before investing in mutual funds in India and check if these funds are offered to them. Furthermore, some fund houses may not allow NRIs to invest in some schemes due to fatca that is foreign account tax compliance act rules in a gist you need to be aware as to what rules apply to your particular case or else unknowingly you could attract penalties step number 4 account opening and fund transfer 
Once you have completed the KYC and other formalities like filling up the application form of the mutual fund company, your mutual fund folio is created. A designated NRE or NRO account will be linked to this mutual fund folio. You can only transact in the mutual fund folio via this designated account. Also note that these funds only accept Indian rupees and not foreign currency. Step number five, redemption of funds and tax implications. The redemption process is very simple. The mutual fund company will remit the principal and the gains after TDS deduction, if applicable, to the designated account. If this designated account is an NRE account, which is a repatriable account, then the funds can be transferred to your country of residence. Taxes applicable on the gains are categorized as short-term or long-term capital gains, depending upon the period. Also, the slabs and rates are decided as per the type of the mutual fund. Please note that NRIs who invest in mutual funds are exempted from wealth tax. Well, now you know the processes and regulations for investing in mutual funds in India. As an NRI, you can enjoy the best of both worlds. You can invest in India and at the same time continue to live and work in another country. Twin benefits. We hope you have learned something new today as it is our constant endeavor at Motilal Oswal to educate and make an investor a sound investor. Happy investing! Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully 